Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on the Mind Fanatic Modsaw server. Quick episode today, I just want to catch you guys up on a few things. I've been working a lot, um, just doing some things off camera. Of course, everything here in this episode will pretty much be off camera, except for the just a couple of things. Um, I did, uh, this molecular assembler is now working. Uh, there were some power issues previously, which I fixed. Um, we also got uh, this growth accelerator system sort of working. Uh, I'm still trying to work on this interface into the open crate that drops things down into here. I don't know why it's not working, but if I drop the things into there, it will get sucked up and back into the system, which that is working. Um, I also... I upgraded uh, my advanced uh, or the energy cube to an advanced energy cube. Uh, if we go outside, if you look up, well, you can't. You can kind of look from here. In fact, let me just swim out. But we have now three solar panels. It's working very diligently. And I did go to the nether and I got did a little bit of farming. I went downstairs. As you see, this path right here goes to, you know, there's a really huge uh, mine shaft underneath my vase. And when I say huge, it's, it's crazy big. But, um, yeah, I pretty much went through most of that. And there's a crazy double ravine down there as well. Uh, pretty much mined and looked around in that area lit it up so but the thing is today um, well I guess to go on to more things um, we added these enemy interfaces which help to kinda like speed the process up on creating these different items whatnot uh, also added this crusher uh, this osmium compressor uh, let's see I think is that it? Yeah. Oh, and uh, extended the hallway a little bit. Made a little area for nether wart to grow inside. I guess I could grow it outside, but I don't see why I should take it away. Um, we'll probably end up staying in the hallway that way some, too, and going that way. I'm thinking about making a power room back here. So um, currently downstairs what this is is all going to be applied energistics type stuff because as you see here I've got my Emmy controller um, also my uh, processing and stuff right through here it's all hooked into the system and that takes up quite a bit of space so yeah um, anyways I also created this really cool pickaxe here it's called the atomic uh, disassembler and it's it's worn down a little bit but let me just show you what it can do really quick Okay, so, see this osmium ore? So if, if we hold down right click and we go to vein, it mines out the entire vein. Pretty cool, huh? Now, if I do this and go to like fast, it does some crazy, crazy stuff. Like, like basically I can knock through just any block like it was butter. Like it doesn't even matter, straight up. It's crazy. Um, so yeah, that's that. But yeah, if you just hold down again, you get the the vein miner. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, it just does require a little bit of power, which is not a big deal for me. Um, so let me see here. Oops, I just hopped down, didn't I? All right. Okay, there we go. Oh, and that's, this is the area that I went through. Um, but yeah, really cool things uh, happened. Uh, you know, every uh, both the only guys that are really playing on the server right now um, are Doc, me, and uh, Sawyer. And Sawyer moved to another base, and he's all hooked up. And he's working on some of the same stuff I am. Um, one of the other things I was going to do today, uh, now that I have... Uh, let me see if I have everything before I'm sitting here going through everything. Yes, I've got the regeneration potions. All right, we need to build 
really quickly. Um, we need to get a health potion. And how we're going to do that is... Let's see if I can find it. Got all my little stuff over here. Let's see. There you go. One of those. And I think I got glass downstairs. Yeah. And I should have built this a long time ago, but I just, I don't know. Just didn't. Not really have a good excuse. I had to double check I had all three. Okay. I know you're watching me do all this stuff like crazy fast. Um, We have gold. Yes, we have a lot of gold. And that's another thing. I have a crazy amount of stuff now. So, no worries for a little while at least we're going to work on the next I think the next thing I want to work on um is going to have to be uh getting a let's see here getting a quarry going or some kind of quarry I, I don't know exactly what kind of quarry I want to work on yet still trying to figure that out let me pull these out we need those now and why did I only get four nuggets I'm confused so confused right now Here we go. Don't know why. Okay. So we need one of these glistening melons. This should be ready. Put you there. Not sure how this goes. We're going to do a magnum torch. I'm so happy that I can actually build this now. Oh, do we need five? <laughs> okay, well that's not a problem. Here we go. Potion of healing. And the last thing, chandelier. Which are a little bit pricey. There we go. And there's Sawyer. Oh, different kind of wood. Oh, they're in the wrong order. Wow. No. So wait, what am I missing here? Potion of healing, instant health two. Oh, really? Wow. Wow, look at that. Well, sorry guys, this episode might actually make it to a decent, uh, let's see here, I think it's just, we need two of those, okay. So you really want to make sure that you go to the nether, for the most part, because you're not going to get a gas here anywhere else, I don't think. <clears throat> if you can get one of these in like the mad pack, or any of those really crazy mod packs that are... <clears throat> extremely hostile, then you're set. Push of healing, push of healing, push of healing. Close to one. 
yeah, it's really nice now that we've got this base set up. We've got a pretty substantial amount of power. Um, this does come down a little bit during the day. Um, sometimes it gets all the way down to half, but that's the most I've seen it. And I'm sitting here, and I could be working in here the entire evening, and it only go down halfway. So I think that's good for right now. Let's just check this out. Okay, so we've got all this. We should be able to go ahead and lay down this magnum torch. And I'm just, I'm just so tired of like... Okay, I'm now I'm really confused because didn't we just do what it said? Is there a different way to make this now? QED recipe. Oh, okay. Well, you know, that's actually okay. We have all of that too. You know, this thing is not going to phase us. It's not going to get me down. We've got this. Okay. Ha! Ah. Get wrecked. Wow, okay, that's right. It only goes down. I don't know why I did that. Okay. Okay, I was like... One, two, three, four, five... there <clears throat> you only need one engine to run this it does take a while so I'll go ahead and cut here and we'll come back and we'll place it and then we'll see if we can get into anything else but I think I'm not sure but that might be all we do today we'll have to see so we'll be back in just a minute all right guys all right guys so we're nearing the end of this and there we go magnum torch made Wow, they really did um, beef up how everything has to be made um, now. Which, you know, in part, like, this ME system was insanely hard to build. Insanely. Like, it takes time. I mean, there's no better way to put it. Um, what we're going to do is probably just put this on top of my base. Okay, and then, uh, what better not than just to put it all the way at the very, very top. In fact, yeah, that should do. I should get most of the stuff underground, too. So, yeah, you know, I don't really have a lot of problems over there with uh, mobs. Um, it's mainly all down below when I'm caving. And I just don't want any, like, creeper surprises you know I want to be able to keep those um, out of my way all right but yeah let's uh, let's see if we can get in anything else today uh, I do one thing I do want to do um, I want to get a um, a station going uh, for um, enchanting. I have so many levels and so many things I need to do. I need to build a new suit, um, but I want to do it in a more uh, convenient way, I would say. Um, let's actually go and look at how we're going to do that. Um, let's see. Bear with me. Okay. So, we can use the Batania mod. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. Another thing I want to get is that uh, Terra Blade. Terra Blade crafted from ter Terra Steel ingots. It's a sword infused with natural strength. Not only does it par with a diamond sword in terms of strength, it uses mana. So as long as there's a chance for it to do it, create a beam that will deal as much damage as a melee hit. That's pretty cool, right? Now it doesn't look like much, but it says it does as much damage and we can probably enchant it too so soul scribe those endermen their second pesky. so that's another thing i want to get going too um i'm sorry i'm getting off 
hand here because I'm seeing all these awesome things that I want to build. Uh, tiny planet. Some of these things are just, to me, it's just like useless. I don't know why people would want them. Uh, nope. You know, let's see. Enchanting with mana. Okay, here we go. Nope, that's that's cool, and that's another episode for sure. Um, mana pylon. That is it. Yes. So we just need two mana pylons. Here we go. We need to get two mana diamonds and four mana steel ingots and four gold. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's go ahead and grab a couple diamonds. Let's grab everything we need. One, two, three, four. Diamonds. Where? There we go. One, two. What was the other thing we needed? We got two diamonds. Oh, and one, two, three, four. Hopefully, we have everything we need. Let's go ahead and try to get this done. Okay, um, so do we just craft this? Let's look in our lexicon again. For one, setting one adjacent to an adjacent, adjacent to an adjacent table as if it were bookshelf directly or drastically increase the power. So just two of these are enough to reach to level 30. That's awesome. Okay, so I'm not sure. Uh, let's just go construct these right over here, being that we're close. There's one, nice. So that did work. And two. All right, and I think I have my enchanting table over here somewhere. If I don't, then I can make a new one. Where is my enchanting table? I'm pretty sure I didn't leave it at home. There it is. Okay. So, all we need to do, and we'll just put that over here, I guess, for now. I don't really know. Wow. I'm just going to put it in the main room so we can get things situated. I'll just put it up here. So we'll just put that down right there. Put this down. Put that down. Okay. Now let's see what we can do. So let's let's see. We'll make a, let's just make a diamond pickaxe. I know that doesn't make much sense, but at the same time. I don't know if I could get lucky. I do need, um, let's see here. I do need Silk Touch. So that would be really awesome if I could get that. I know you're like, why are you using a Diamond Pickaxe? Look, level 30. Oh, there's Silk Touch. Nice. Nice. And you know what? This is so nice because I can just put this against the wall. I don't even have to worry about like other bookshelves all coming out like this. I mean, it's so clean. And it even lights up the place. It's kind of nice. Looks cool. 
and they had this really cool like little animation really interesting but yeah so that's kind of what's going on here uh i got a silk touch pickaxe which is really cool um yeah we did a lot of things around here at the base uh hopefully in the next episode i'll show you some other cool things um but i will see you guys next time thanks for watching